Defence Minister Rajnath Singh has commissioned the first of four large survey vessel INS Sundayak into the Indian Navy. Maharashtra Police and Military Intelligence jointly uncovered a Delhi-based gang involved in the manufacture and sale of Indian Army's new combat counterfeit uniforms in the open market. Shoft Shipyard Private Limited has delivered a 25-ton bollard pull tug to the Indian Navy. Maldives President has formally requested Indian government to provide comprehensive details of an incident on 31st January, in which Indian Coast Guard personnel allegedly boarded three Maldivian fishing vessels operating within Maldives' exclusive economic zone. India's ambitious plans to co-develop the Brahmos-2 hypersonic cruise missile with Russia have hit a roadblock, as both countries are yet to finalize an agreement and timeline for the development. The Canadian Security Intelligence Service's unclassified document to the Canadian government has marked India as a foreign interference threat, saying that India could potentially meddle with Canadian elections. The Indian Army has started talks with private sector companies for the development of vertical takeoff and landing cargo UAVs, that can carry 300 kg to 500 kg of cargo over distances of 500 km. A multitasking staff posted at the Indian Embassy in Moscow has been arrested by UPATS, for working for Pakistani intelligence agency ISI. Ahead of Sri Lanka's 76th Independence Day celebrations, Indian Navy's INS Kuranj submarine has arrived on a two-day visit to Colombo. The first Tejas Mark 1A aircraft is currently undergoing final assembly checks, after which it will start ground testing and low and high speed trials, and it is expected to conduct its first flight by end of this month. It features a new mission computer, smart multifunction displays, an active electronically scanned array radar, and advanced electronic warfare capabilities. The second Tejas Mark 1A fighter jet is also scheduled to conduct its first flight in April. The Indian Air Force aims to establish the first Tejas Mark 1A squadron at the Nile Air Base in Rajasthan by May this year, that currently houses MiG-21 Bison. Bengaluru-based startup Range Aero has unveiled its Jestar Autonomous Freight Helicopter for short-haul transport. It has an impressive range of 200 km, a speed of 150 km per hour, and can carry a payload of 150 kg. Although the autonomous aircraft is capable of handling all aspects of flight and emergency situations by their own, the auto system at command and control station and crew can also control the drone. Indian firm DG Propulsion Private Limited has successfully completed endurance test runs of its indigenously developed J-40 jet engine, and it consistently cruised at a remarkable 84,000 revolutions per minute showcasing its stability and power, which shows the potential applications of the indigenous engine in advanced unmanned aerial vehicles and drones, that will significantly reduce dependence on foreign imports. Today's top 3 comments.